everyone what's up what are you doing so I want to talk about some silly things that come across my Facebook page and one of them was 11 things that are making people less attractive I want to see your thoughts I'll give you my thoughts and see if it's true or not true in my eyes this is from an article from healthy way and one of them is saying that bad grammar makes people less attractive. I have to agree with that one because as, as a lawyer and as an avid reader, I love good grammar. It drives me crazy when, when I see a bad grammar or misspell or like my kids, they don't know how to write anymore instead of saying I'll be right back is BRB and like this three letter words that don't mean anything. I tell them, please speak in English, full English. The other thing is that your youthful looks. That apparently that kids that are born to parents who are over the age of 30 are not as attractive to people with young faces and they're more attracted to potential partners whose faces show signs of aging. I don't know. I don't know about that. I had one child when I was 29, almost 30, and, and my second child is the age of 32. I think we are attracted to whatever we're attracted to. And if you want to keep looking young because of you and not to attract the other sex, go ahead. I don't want to look like an old lady. I'm 43, but I don't want to look old. Thank God I'm married, otherwise maybe I will be attracting the, the wrong crowd. They're saying that a shirt on your back, that a red shirt is worn by men is more attractive for women. I don't know, what do you think? I love the red color. I love to wear red. And I like when my husband wears red, but I think it's because red as a color symbolizes passion and fire. So whenever I wear red, I feel, I feel automatically better. Well, I think a guy wearing a red shirt is more attractive. I don't know, depends on the guy. Would a guy think a woman wearing a red dress or a red top or something red is more attractive? I think it all depends on the girl and what a guy is looking for or the outfit. I don't think a color will make you more or less attractive. It all depends on the outfit. Cake up. Say, they're also saying that guys don't like girls that wear a lot of makeup. And I think this, is, this article is more towards what men are attracted to and not what we are all attracted to. But caking up. I like wearing makeup, but I also like not wearing makeup. At 43, I am very comfortable in my own skin. I don't think I need makeup to feel good about myself, but I love wearing makeup. I am wearing makeup today, but I have other videos that I am not wearing any makeup at all, and I don't care. I think my husband likes when I am wearing makeup, but he also likes, when, likes me when I'm not wearing makeup because we have been together for 18 years and he has seen it all. So if you are with somebody that likes you because you are wearing makeup or because you are not wearing makeup, I think you need to find somebody else because people need to like you for who you are and not what you put on you or you not put on yourself. Love yourself no matter what and be you no matter what. They're also saying that men are more attracted to women with big appetite. I don't know. <laughs> if you have a big appetite, oh my gosh, she has such big appetite. If you don't have big appetite, oh my gosh, she doesn't eat. So I think you should do whatever you want and eat whatever you want, whenever you want. I It goes with the other comment about the makeup. If you are with a person that demands from you to eat or not eat you're with the wrong person I eat whatever I want whenever I want and my husband is fine with it I I love food table manners 
I agree with this one. I can't stand when somebody is chewing with their mouth open or I can see their food or they make noises when they're sipping or eating soup. That drives me bananas. I can tell you I have dumped former boyfriends or potential boyfriends because they didn't have good table manners. I know I am crazy. I am OCD. But I don't like noises. So there you go. Uh, this is for the girls, for the men. Uh, a beard versus something like a stubble. I don't care. I think a guy should wear a beard or not wear a beard. Like It doesn't matter about facial hair. As long as it's clean, as long as the person that he is with loves it, who cares? Wear hair, don't wear hair, wear a beard, don't wear a beard. Do you do you. Flashing a smile or not flashing a smile, it says that a study revealed that men rated smiling women as more attractive and women wanted men that don't smile much. I don't know, I like when my husband smiles. I like when the other person smiles. And I smile a lot because I am a happy person, I'm a positive person, so I I think that if people don't want you to smile, like what's wrong with them? Why are they so unhappy that they don't want you to smile? So you smile if you like to smile or don't smile if you don't like to smile, if you don't want these lines. But Again, you do you. And too much personality. Uh, they're saying that it's very attractive to be humble. Uh, that I think that's true. I think that being humble is great. Nobody likes people. I don't. I wouldn't say nobody, but. In my personal opinion, I don't like when people are too flashy or they want to just throw their assets at me to to show that they're important sometimes. One, one time, not too long ago, I went out to a, like a night out with some parents from my kids' school. We're all pretty old, not old, like senile, but we're all over 40, mid 40s, close to 50. And one guy, in three seconds, he approached me and he said, how many bathrooms his house had, like six, seven bathrooms, and all these things that I couldn't care less. I care about who you are as a person, not all the possessions that you have. If you have all these possessions, good for you. That does not make you a person. What makes you a person is how, how caring you are, how nice you are, how, how wonderful you are. Things don't matter. Things come and go, but who you are stays. So don't be showing off. And I think that you need to do you. Being true to yourself, regardless of how cookie you are, how crazy you are, how normal you are. I mean, what's normal anymore? It's the best thing. If you love yourself, and think the world about yourself, you're not gonna care who likes you or who doesn't like you. I am from Mexico and in Mexico we have a saying that you're not a gold coin to be liked by everyone and that's okay. I teach my kids you need to be yourself because everyone else is taken. I know it takes years to understand and, and really live in your truth one day you will get it. Hopefully this generation is much more confident and comfortable in their own skin than before. We're all outside in the world uh, trying, I am trying to make my kids uh, to make, to shape this world to be a better one than the one I grew up with. And I hope this video encourages you to not believe everything that you see on Facebook. Some of these articles just show up to, I don't know, to do what? I thought this was very funny. To sum it all, whoever is gonna be meant 
to be with you and whoever you're gonna end up being with is gonna love you whether you wear makeup, whether you eat, whether you don't eat, whether you don't make wear makeup, whether you have a an interesting hobby or not. What people say about you does not define you. Who you are as a person and how you go in life is what makes you you. Your character defines you. What you do for yourself and others defines you. Not what people think. You are not, thank God, you don't eat from other people. You, you are amazing just the way you are. Let me know if you found this article interesting, not interesting, any comments, any feedback. I have always been true to myself. People made fun of me for whatever reason and I didn't give a, uh, you know what. People will always have something to say about you and it is what it is. You can't change it. Have an amazing day. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, more Facebook silly things or articles that I come across that I just want to share with you. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content coming up. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, for watching. God bless. Mwah.